Hello, hello and welcome. My name is Sin and in today's tutorial we're going to be having a look at subnets and automating the A2 processes. And to get started we're going to jump straight into the pattern terminal and what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure we're on the processing pattern and we're going to want to make these these processes here. So as you can see they take the printed circuits, the redstone and the printed silicon. We've made all three of these in a prior um, tutorial so I'm going to just go through make them and they'll be ready for our system to make or have all the components to make in our system now I have three patterns just there and we're going to pop down here to where I've set up for today so in our system we're going to have an ME interface and this interface will tell the system that you know for the given ingredients these three ingredients the printed circuits the printed silicon and the redstone for each of these processes if you give me those, I will give you the processes that you've asked for. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to use an ME interface that goes into a chest. So when I request something, it's going to go from this interface into this chest. Um, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a subnet, and this subnet's going to create, or is going to sorry, uh, is going to transfer all the items to where I want them to go. And that's going to be very helpful. So first, it's going to start with I'm going to put a storage bus here so the items in this chest are available into the network I'm going to put an export bus here I'm going to put an export bus at the bottom I'm going to the top and do the same thing so now what I'm doing here is I'm going to say from each of these sides I want to export items into it I have somewhere from the items that can come from and what I want to do is I want to be able to take items out and then I'm also going to need to be able to power this as well but I might just touch on the power right at the end because I'm going to do a few little things at the end there what I want to do here as well is I want to uh, export out of this network back into the interface. This is a nice trick here that instead of using an import back into the network, I can import into an interface. And by putting an item into an interface in these slots up here, it'll all just automatically fall back into the system, which is quite useful for us. So what I'm going to do here is I want to start hooking all these up. And importantly in this system, I need to make sure that this has less than eight connections because it is a... I guess it's for me what I call is a dumb network or a dumb sub network where it can only have up to eight channels. Um, if I wanted to go beyond that, I would need to put another ME controller on the circuit, but I guess that's a bit beyond what I need for this. And as you can see here, I only really need six channels. So what we've done here is we have set up all of our channels, but we need to start fixing them so that they get what we want. So at the back here and in the middle slot of our inscriber, we want our redstone to go. At the top slot here, we want to put in all of our printed circuits. And to do that, we only have one slot in a export bus. And we're going to use a capacity card to put that up to five. So we're going to put out all of our printed circuits. And it doesn't actually take the printed circuit, it just takes an image of it. And finally, at the bottom here, we're going to put in a printed silicon. And that way, whenever we have all three items coming into this chest, they'll automatically get routed to the correct side and enter the inscriber so that's great now why have I put a storage bus on the side the storage bus on the side is to extract items from this and that's what I want to do I only want to, I only want this to be extracting items from the storage bus and I want to do the same with the ones connected to the chest here as well so I'm going to say extract only so now I have some storages but they can only extract and the only other place to put them is into here or the remaining sides of the inscriber and what I want to do here is I don't want anything else going back into the system that isn't a processor. So I'm going to chuck the logic processor, the engineering processor, as well as the calculation processor into the system. So now we have a little sub network. It's going to work, but the only problem is I don't have any power in this network. And you can see that by all these channels. Uh, so the, the smart cables don't have any channels, as well as the buses have are offline. They don't have power as well. Now, to give power to a network, you can use the quartz fiber cables, but it doesn't transfer channels, so it's a way to pass power without passing channels. So I can put that down there, and you'll now see that this all lights up. We are using the six channels, and all of our devices are online. That's great. But the only thing I haven't got yet is I haven't got power into this subscriber. So what we're going to do here, we're going to add a cable anchor here, and we're going to bring out the power one off to the left, and now we have power, and everything should work. And I'm not going to make you take my word for it. 
we're actually going to craft. So as you can see, I have the processes. I'm just going to bring these into the inventory so we can see them a bit easier. I'm going to make two of each. Make two. And make two. And I'm using middle click here to, to do those. You can see they're being created here. If we have a look, we can see we have all of our pieces in this chest. And they are being funneled into here. And they are being made a little bit slowly, but they are being made um, pretty quickly. That'll be removed. And if we have now look back in the system, we can see that we have one of those calculation processes, one of those engineering processes, and another engineering processor should just arrive there. So that's perfect. So this is a very quick tutorial on how to make a subnetwork as well as automating the processes from Applied Energy 6 2. If you have liked this video, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to subscribe. But as always, have a good day. See you now.